We can play video games and feel good about ourselves instead of getting done and feeling completely guilty that we weren't being productive. I want to talk about some common ways we feel guilty about ourselves. I wanted to kind of add a different side, a different perspective. I wanted to flip the coin to the other side and see how gaming can actually help us in our lives. Gaming can give us quick and easy pleasure, but that doesn't necessarily make us feel good in the long run. Games are good at making things fun, and when you play a game to have fun for an extended period of time, you might feel guilty for not doing something important. Games are really good at this. They monetize the flow state. They make sure that uh, you were hooked as long as possible. Gaming can be reflective. If we are working all the time, we don't have a chance to reflect on ourselves and figure out what we really want. Leisure is very important in order to reflect. A leisure like Netflix or TikTok doesn't give us any space to reflect. Aristotle talks about this on his essays on politics. Now he's very critical of leisure, but he says leisure is a very important part towards developing your identity and political values. Those are very important things to curate for yourself. If you want to feel fulfilled in life, you have to figure out who you are and what your identity is. You have to do a lot of self-reflection. Why don't you just start flying that ship in No Man's Sky or walking around the forest in Minecraft to discover a little bit about yourself? Now, it might take a little bit of work, but those games end up being very calming in a way. Um, and the community says that fun is not the most important part of these games. It's exploration and creativity. Use these creative games to, you know, induce the state of adventure and during that adventure, if you're alone, you can spend that time reflecting on who you are. You can spend that time on thinking about yourself and your role. And don't just think about stupid, silly mistakes that you made when you were 12, you know? Think about the current state of the world or what do you want to do for your career? You know, big steps like that, what actually makes you fulfilled? You can play video games to induce you in a state of self-reflection. Gaming can be toxic. Uh, yes, of course it can. I've seen plenty of toxic behavior in multiplayer gaming. It really depends on the game you play. Think about playing something like Valorant versus playing something like Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic is made to be a cooperative experience in which you battle things together as a group of friends. I can't think of another hobby that puts me and my friends under a same challenge and gives us both that triumphant feeling of solving that challenge, right? In Deep Rock Galactic, you get put in these very intense moments together. And those moments are what makes the game, and those moments can make you feel really connected with someone else. Gaming is a sedentary activity. Yes, this is true. You're not really working out your body very much. Um, and I'm not saying don't get outside. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Go get outside. And you definitely need to spend a lot of your time doing physical activity. That's very important towards feeling fulfilled in your life. That's very important towards regulating your emotions. But gaming can be a very stimulating intellectual activity, intellectual challenge, much like, you know, playing chess, right? That can get us hyper zoned in on a certain challenge and practice some of those higher levels of thinking, that strategic gameplay. So if you need some sort of challenge and you're tired of crossword puzzles, you can try playing a strategy game. You can try playing a management game, something that gives you some sort of challenge uh, or a puzzle game, you know, Portal 2. That, that game can really elicit those puzzle solving uh, activities in the brain and it can help you learn. And you might come out of that session feeling really accomplished for beating that just that one puzzle. So these are just some ideas on how to think about playing video games in the future. When we're playing video games, we don't want to be thinking about how we are not being productive. I think playing video games can be productive because I think leisure is a very important part of our lives. And I don't think that we gain very much from watching endless TV shows or scrolling through social media. But I think video games do have a genuine benefit. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and it helped you in some way. If you're interested in becoming part of the conversation, please join our Discord. There we talk a lot about a lot of things. It's not just video games, it's about technology, depression, things like that. And if you would like to support the channel, consider buying my wife a coffee in order to sustain her coffee addiction. That really helps me out and it really helps me make these videos.